Hey, this is Ben Smith, otherwise known as Red Tops 85 and uh, we're trying something new. I'm using some different recording software, and uh, right now I'm just sitting uh, where we've started building some stuff, but uh, this is not that show. <laughs> so first things first, I gotta get to... The Bible Lands. That's right. This is an episode of our Bible Lands um, themed uh, series. So just give me a second here. I'm gonna hop down. Woo! Just like that. So let me get over here. So we gotta travel to the Bible Lands. All right, so here we are at the fast travel um, destination thingy, whatever you want to call it, at the capital, and we are about to go back into time, thousands of years to the Bible Lands. Wow, that did not take long at all. Here we are. That's right. This is the Bible Lands. I added a map here so you can kind of see where you're at in the Bible Lands, and yes, that is Noah's Ark right there being built to scale in Minecraft. This is the Bible Lands tourist office. And uh, over here we have our new Bible Lands gifts, ancient pottery. You can buy some Bible Lands gift shop pottery. <laughs> LOL. Anyways, and so this is the village, slowly, little by little, being built up. I don't know if uh, you've seen any of this since the last time we built it, but or we're on here, so it like I said, it's been a while since it's been on here, but hey, took no 400 years, so don't blame me. <laughs> so, yep, yeah, there's just some different buildings that we've put together, some different stuff. Um, just loving the architecture here. So, let's stop over here and take a look at where our progress is on Noah's Ark. And as you can see, I have been making some progress on it, little by little. Um, I don't want to show you that just yet. Let's just go down here to the dock. We are excited to go inside this thing. I'm not sure where that bone came from. Alright. And, okay, so my dimensions were a little off on that, but hey. So let's go in here. Of course, we've got a crafting table here. And this, I've kind of started working a little on the interior. So you got a little staircase that comes down here to the bottom floor. All in all, I intend to have three floor levels with varying staircases and stuff in different locations all around the entire inside of the ark. So that's what we've been working on little by little. It's, it's taken some time, but it is definitely getting there. Um, so, but what we're going to do today, or my intention is, is we need to add a very important feature to our Bible Lands area. So, my thinking is, this Bible Lands area is just a general concept, idea, feel of any place in the Bible. So, we're gonna have Noah's Ark, you know. I feel a manger scene. So, up here, this is kinda working on building like and these custom olive trees and building out this sort of garden amount of olives type dealio. So that's what we're planning to do there. So over here on the other side of the city, on this other entrance, is where we're going to add an extremely important feature to the Bible Lands area. And that is, I am planning to build what is commonly referred to as Calvary or Golgotha in the Bible, basically the place where they crucified Christ. So my original thoughts was to put it on the other side of the bridge, but then I thought, no, you know, in the Old Testament or in the New Testament, it very much mentions the fact that it is literally right outside the city gate. And the reason for that is because the Romans wanted um, anyone coming in and out of the city to always be reminded of the punishments for crimes. So, I am going to build it 
right in this area right here somehow. My thinking is to probably get some stone, some cobble, maybe some andesite, and just like mix it all together and build um, like a little hill-like structure. Now, from what I've seen in pictures and what I've read, the, it was really not so much of a mountain. It was kind of more like a hill right outside the city. But the hill was very rocky and was shaped in such a way that it almost looked kind of like a skull. Now, I don't want to do anything super creepy, but I'm looking to do something that just kind of carries that feel, that look. So I'm going to just take some stone, some cobble, like I said, some andesite, and uh, let's see. Let's just bring some dorate along too, and maybe some granite. And of course it would start turning nighttime on me just as I'm getting ready to build something. Uh, it's okay though. Alright, let's uh, plop in some cobble here. I kind of want to just mix it in just to kind of give it this natural just gonna mix it in here just try to give it like this natural look feel to it all right here we go hmm oh creeper you know I was thinking maybe since this is Minecraft, maybe the skull should look kind of like a Minecraft skull. I don't know. Let's see if we can do something like that. Alright. So, let's see here. Hmm. Not real sure how this is going to look. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not sure how I'm gonna like this. Back! Back, you monster! Die! Alright. Let's go up this way. And... Okay. Well, um... I could see it. Sort of. Hmm. Maybe this needs something. Let's take this out and let's put this here. And okay, it's it's getting there. Okay, it's not the greatest. What can I say? That that actually makes it look a little better. Yeah, that's very that's very much that's very much a Minecrafty looking skull. Okay, we'll go with that. Like put a roof on it, so to speak. I probably should drop a torch inside there so I don't have 8 billion mobs spawning in there all the time while I'm trying to try and reflect upon the seriousness of this area. Some of this right here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, see that? Look at that. I don't even got any armor, any armor on, I'm just saying. So, alright, so there's, and let's just kind of round this out a little bit. Now that does look very yeah I like it my hope is that by building out all these scenes in our Bible lands area that uh, the different people that um, record videos on church mag could use it as a place to do devotionals and things that's the idea here
and the concept behind it. So let's go like that, like that. And let's go boom, boom, just like that. All right, all right, here we go. Let's get these stairs in. And let's get that. Almost there. Oh. Nope. Let's I actually kind of like that. I like how it's indenting in a little bit. Only thing about it is that we're going to run out of room here at the top. Harry, I've reached the top. Well, here we are. And stepped away from my computer for a minute just to come back to find myself dead. And of course, my spawn was set back at the jungle. And so by the time I got back here, nothing. I lost everything. Oh, uh, well, that's okay. Let's uh, see here. Well, we're pretty much done with this, except that now I realize that it needs to be a little further back. So I'm just going to go get some supplies and try to finish this up for this episode. And then I'm just going to have to go uh, get some new armor and weapons, because, yeah, lost it all. Gonna have to buy some new pickaxes. Fortunately, we've got some shops and stuff to sell those kinds of things. So, let's just get some stuff here. And... That should be good enough. Now, like I said, we're gonna try to intermix different stones materials just like before well actually mix in some really different ones this time let's see here And you know, I think what we're going to do here is we'll just add a little bit of a lip on the back side. Yeah, I kind of like that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get down here and let's see what it looks like. It looks good.
And just fill that in a little bit. Just like the other side. Let's just kind of do this all around. Just to kind of help it blend in a little better. There. This looks like a rocky hill of an area. Alright, now for our crosses. Let's see here. Oops. Alright, um. It's gonna be a little awkward, but. Let's put our central one here. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, let's go with six. And let's just do one, two, one, two. That looks good. This one we'll do one, two, three, four. Let's do four. We'll go one. Two. And over here we'll do one more. One, two, three, four. This one we'll do five. Try to give them some different height on each one. And then just do one, two. There. That looks pretty good. Not too bad. All right, well, there it is, folks. All right, well, there it is. Let me know what you think. Uh, leave some comments, likes, share it, subscribe to Church Mag's YouTube channel. And uh, also, um, if you're interested in playing on the Church Mag server, definitely fill out a application for that. And uh, hopefully... Hopefully you can uh, join us. We're always looking for other players. So, but there it is. Thanks for uh, watching.